Man, guys, did you see the newsletter that went out to everybody that ordered a Aerial Rider Kepler? Well, if you got them in the color that I did, guess what? They're not coming until the end of December. It's crazy. Let's get into this video and talk about it. Oh, man, the police. Man, they got some new SUVs. That was clean. But anyways, how crazy is that, right? So I'll put it up on the screen right now so you guys can see what they actually said. Just in case you guys have one ordered from them, or maybe you're just curious to see what email they sent out. So you can read it while it's on the screen right now while I uh, bullshit and talk. But uh, I can't really remember everything it said on there. I just know that they said that they were uh, very sorry and unfortunate, you know, that they weren't able to uh, ship the bikes in time. So it's looking like, I believe, late December. And I apologize, I read this on my lunch when I, uh, when I had my lunch break for 30 minutes. It's been like four or five hours since then. But uh, it's crazy, right? So I was like, oh my God, like, I guess it's cool. You're gonna get it for Christmas, you know? So it's kind of like a Christmas gift to yourself. But what sucks about it is I wasn't trying to get any type of bikes in December, like in the month of December, like maybe very, very early, but I'm not really trying to do a lot of these reviews in December because I kind of want to spend time with my family, you know, my girlfriend, and I kind of just want to, I don't know, do my own thing. So I'm like, I'm happy, but I'm not like, I'm not in a rush to get a bike, but I can see a lot of you guys being a little bit upset having to wait like another like month and a half for your uh, Aerial Rider Kepler. I know I'd be upset if I didn't have an electric bike and that's the one that I ordered and I'm waiting and waiting. To me, it's not that bad because I got so many sitting in my garage. But I, you know, I feel sorry for you guys that that's like the only one you bought and you're just waiting on it. But I will say that even though I don't work with the company, I was technically reached out to from them to do a review on the Kepler and uh, they never sent me the contract so i bought it out myself but i want to say that aerial rider is a great company regardless I, I don't have anything bad to say about them i wasn't a huge fan of the grizzly i was just being honest i mean now that i kind of look back at it i was really comparing it against the onyx and the Suron. so it was kind of hard to uh you know justify how it was but i will still tell you the grizzly throttle on mine anyway i don't know if it's like a common issue on all of them but when you had both motors activated there is no regulation in the throttle it just you move it like 20 percent and it's full throttle i hated that that was my biggest complaint on the grizzly but i'm very excited for the kepler i think that bike should be uh like it should be really fun i really think that bike's gonna be badass so i'm still looking forward to getting it i'm pretty sure um i wanted to do a video unboxing it when i get mine in and then I wanted to obviously do a review on it, go to work with it. I was actually gonna do multiple videos on it, just kind of, you know, messing around with it because it's such a popular bike. So you guys that already have your uh, your Kepler, you guys should be happy and uh, have fun with it while you can because people like me are waiting for it. And I could have got it a little bit sooner if I would have ordered a different color. I think it was like a month for a different color but the one i wanted was a month and a half and now it's looking like two and a half months like damn it's a long time but it's cool i'll wait for it no big deal but uh drop a comment i'm curious on what you guys think about it i mean they sound so neat si bah, they sound sincere when they uh you know they sent the email out and i don't know if it was just their projection that they got wrong or you know supplies or how everything went or they're just sure or they got more orders than they thought they were gonna get i don't know because the thing is i feel like all these companies got us like if you guys aren't into the pc world like the graphics cards for computers i feel like all these companies it's like if you don't know the information on ex it's just barely coming out and the review the reviews go out a day right before it goes live right but maybe you don't have the money and then you're like oh like you didn't get to see the review or something maybe you're busy and if you don't buy one and then you saw the review and you're like, oh, that's a badass card. You can't get it. Guess what? You're paying like a lot more for it or you're going to be waiting a very long time. I feel like all these companies got us. I feel like that's how a lot of the things are. You notice that there's a lot of pre-orders for bikes and stuff like that. And you got to wait and wait. Just like Tesla. Tesla does that too. You don't even get to see your car. Like seriously, like you can't just go to a dealership and just go buy the car. <laughs> oh, bump it. Um, 
and it's like man like you literally just pre-order it and it gets delivered to you so i feel like <clears throat> excuse me i'm getting a little sick i feel like that's where everything's going to like they get the pre-orders they get their money in and then they start manufacturing the stuff that's why like indiegogo is like very very popular but it's like man i want to buy something and just have it right away i will say though when i do buy something and it says like it's going to arrive in a month i'm cool because i know what to expect but i hate when i uh so what bike company is oh my god like, uh, rumble uh rumble motors they were having a uh, badass dual motor bike coming i forget exactly what it's called but i think it's supposed to be like 3,000 watts or something like that it is the coolest looking bike i've seen but there's no like estimated delivery there's no actual models that you can see like made no one actually has videos of it or anything like that i've just seen pictures of it i'm not dropping money like that on a bike that i don't even know about yet sorry I, I just can't do it like it looks so cool and i'll probably regret it when people get it and start talking about it like, oh yeah this is badass better than the aerial rider grizzly but uh, i just can't do it i don't know maybe you guys think differently than me but i just feel like pre-ordering something that i can't physically see or review yet or get any type of feedback yet i like to do my uh my youtube videos i go on youtube i look at everything i'm like okay what does this person say what does that person say i'll probably watch like 10 to 15 videos on something until i figure out like okay like this is the bike for me or this is the product for me because a lot of uh, like I don't know, let's take a dishwasher for example like something stupid right you look up a dishwasher that you're interested in and granted you know it's not going to sell out because it's not like a high valued item it's in stock or whatever but you know you look at the reviews on youtube and then you see what they say and then sometimes youtubers will say like so you can get this one or you can get this one for an extra hundred dollars and it's worth to get this one so then i start reviewing the one that's an extra hundred dollars and then i see what people say about that and sometimes people will compare it to the one that i was previously looking at or they're going to compare it to a higher price and they're like oh this one's another hundred dollars or they're going to say like yeah this is like the best price range that you can get for you know whatever the features so if it's something you want to get you get that's how i do my reviews i don't know how you guys do them but it's just so hard to get my my money to companies without getting the product but i'll continue to wait just like i know you guys are gonna have to wait for the bike also hopefully uh you guys are all right with that i thought that truck was gonna get over other oh man uh, someone's missing something to their car. <laughs> oh, I know what that is. It's like a splash card. Oh, man. But anyways, um, other than that, like, I know we've just been rambling on, you know. I kind of like doing these videos every so often. And I had just got the email yesterday. So I wanted to uh, just put this video out super quick, you know. Something random, something, like, late something i never do it's probably not going to get that many views but hey i just you know got to be different out there right got to be honest with people and i i like giving my opinion even if people don't want to hear it and uh, i'm pretty sure people think i'm very crazy out here because it oh crap my blinker's been on the whole time damn it uh, it is cold i will say though i got the beyond riders um ultra protection shirt we got all the pads in it front and back side to side i got everything it's a great shirt it's very breathable um i have a sweater on underneath and i will say that this thing is so breathable that i would not suggest riding with this when it is below like 50 because i am freezing it's very cold out here i kind of live closer out in the country and i probably wouldn't wear this if it's over a hundred and it's gonna feel great when you're moving don't get me wrong because it's very breathable but when you sit stationary the kevlar lining on the inside is gonna heat you up so bad it's just like the flannel i have from them it's a great protection shirt i love beyond riders clothing they focus on us and everything like that so they always have their uh, links in the description for any discounts that you want to use for them because they are just great it's not like a motorcycle company that's just selling a jacket to people on motorcycles. It's like legit. They focus in on us riders, us e-bike riders, like e-skateboards, EUCs, everything. 
but anyway i know this is a quick short video and i'm very very sick like my throat's getting messed up and i think it's because of the wind i'm gonna have to change up my visor one of these days to a clear one so i can actually see and put it down while i arrive because my visor is up on my full face helmet so i'm just getting a gust of wind everywhere i go so uh hopefully guys appreciated uh my feedback on can you please go go <laughs> What's taking you so long, man? But anyways, uh, hopefully you guys appreciated my uh, commentary and uh, my thoughts on the whole uh, Ariel Ryder, Kepler news and all that stuff. So see you guys in the next one. Love you guys.